It's an all-important day in court for the Gyanwapi Mandir Masjid dispute because the Supreme Court bench comprising of Justices D.Y. Chandrachur as well as P.S. Narasimha will essentially resume their hearing in this case. Hindu petitioners are expected to file their response to the plea by the mosque committee against the lower court's judgment. The court will hear the Hindu side's argument after they were notified to appear. The Hindu side has essentially argued that the Gyanwapi Kashi Vishwanath dispute is a pre-independence issue. So the Place of Worship Act doesn't apply to it. The Muslim side has argued that this survey is illegal as it violates the act. The court will essentially decide on the survey's validity. The last hearing on Tuesday, the Supreme Court had directed local authorities to protect the area where the alleged shriveling was found. The court had also instructed authorities to ensure that no obstruction or restriction is placed on prayers on holding namaz at the mosque. Let's take this across to Anisha Mathur. She's joining us live with more details on this. Anisha, good morning. Uh, all eyes will be on the Supreme Court hearing today. Just sum up for us exactly what happened on Tuesday during the hearing and what's expected to be brought up today. Well, Akshita, uh, good morning. Uh, today is going to be a very important day as we are expecting both the Hindu side as well as the state of UP to put their views across as far as the petition by the Muslim side is concerned. Remember, the Gyanwapi, <coughs> I beg your pardon, the mosque committee has filed a petition before the Supreme Court saying that all proceedings and all orders passed since August last year by the civil court in this matter, including the setting up of a court commissioner, including the ordering of a survey, all of those are illegal since this entire suit is barred by the Places of Worship Act. Now, uh, on uh, Tuesday when this matter had come up last, the apex court had uh, had declined to pass any orders or seek on the petition seeking stay, saying that we can't pass ex parte orders, we have to hear the other side before we pass any orders. That is why today is going to be very, very crucial. Also, particularly because uh, the state of UP is also expected to file its response to what is happening on the ground. Remember, on Tuesday, the Solicitor General appearing for the state of Uttar Pradesh had, in fact, said that since there is a, a claim that a shivling has been found, if any uh, entry into that particular area is allowed, there could be a law and order problem. So the state has also has to respond to the court on what arrangements it has made to ensure that both religious, uh, the people of both religions can both uh, conduct their prayers and rituals in peace without any sort of uh, law and order situation or sort of acrimony breaking out. Uh, I, in addition, there is also the fact that uh, the, uh, whether the report of the commission it was correct, whether there should be any stay on the survey, whether there should, be, there should be any stay on the civil court proceedings is also a question before the Supreme Court today, which we are expecting some sort of observations or orders could uh, be passed from the Supreme Court. This is going to be very, very crucial since the uh, civil court hearings in Varanasi court are also going to be uh, happening today itself. We are also expecting the survey report to be filed before the uh, Varanasi court. We were also expecting uh, pleas from the Hindu side to be heard before the Varanasi court. So whatever happens in the Supreme Court will have a massive impact on what is happening on the ground. Back to you. Uh, Anisha, uh, we, uh, stay on with us. You know, we're going to keep coming across to you for all of those details of exactly what's expected in the Supreme Court. But let's take you through exactly, in fact, what's happened so far. What has the Supreme Court said in the hearing on Tuesday? Well, as far as the Gyanwapi issue is concerned, there were a number of very, very important points that you must take note of here from the Supreme Court hearing. One, the Supreme Court said that the shivling area must be protected. The area where reportedly the shivling has been found, they maintained it must be protected and completely sealed off. The right of namaz, the right to pray inside the mosque must not be hindered. So the mosque hasn't been completely shut down either. Besides that, the Supreme Court also said that the DM is going to be in charge of ensuring security of the area where the alleged shivling has been found within the mosque, within the Gyanwabi mosque premises. And finally, what essentially the Supreme Court has done, the biggest takeaway from all of the pointers that we've just shown you is that there's been no stay on the 
Varanasi court proceedings, which also meant that the survey also went ahead as planned. And that's why the survey report is going to be submitted in the Varanasi court today. So, Anisha, essentially from what happened on Tuesday, the Hindu side would consider that to be a victory because there was no, uh, uh, you know, stay that was really put uh, uh, on the Varanasi court uh, proceedings or for that matter on the survey being conducted because that's what the Muslim side wanted, a halt on that survey. Well, Akshita, let me just uh, remind you that the survey was already conducted over the weekend. The survey was complete by the time the hearing came up in the Supreme Court on Tuesday uh, afternoon. And it is only that the, the what is left is whether the survey report will come out, whether the survey report will be uh, made public, whether there will be any stay on the proceedings arising out of the survey report. And that is going to be, that, that is what I said, is going to be very crucial to see because on Tuesday the Supreme Court said we cannot pass any ex parte orders, we cannot pass any orders without hearing the other side. The Muslim side's argument is precisely that the civil court in Varanasi has passed these orders without hearing us, without uh, taking into account our arguments and even the order that was passed on Monday, that is 16th of May by the civil court, that this area where this uh, shivling has reportedly been found should be sealed off. That order was also challenged by the Muslim side saying that without hearing us, without any report being in place, without any study being conducted on what exactly has been found in the premises, how could the civil court have passed such an order? Which is why the Supreme Court modified the civil court order and said that you cannot seal off the entire place. You must allow the right of namaz to continue. You must only seal off the place where that purported shivling has been found. If there is anything that has been found, that should be protected. Everything mm -hmm. else should be allowed to remain open. There should be no restriction on entry into the mosque itself. And now with uh, today as we are expecting the uh, Hindu side as well as the state of Uttar Pradesh to take a stand, the Muslim side will also definitely be pressing for a stay, for a status quo order at least. They will be asking for some sort of orders from the court because according to the Muslim side, the proceedings in the civil court should not have happened, should not have been allowed because there is a bar under the Places of Worship Act. On the okay. other side, of course, we have a plea by the Hindu Sena, which has sought intervene, interventions in the case, who has said that, well, according to us, the Places of Worship Act will not apply at all because this Varanasi uh, dispute has been ongoing since pre-independence. There was a 1943 verdict which had said that, yes, there will be a right to right. worship at the Shingarwari Temple. So why mm -hmm. is it that now, under the Places of Worship Act, we are being barred? So a lot of things will have to be considered by the Supreme Court. Back so here. we'll see exactly what the Supreme Court has to say because it'll have a direct bearing on the hearing that happens in the Varanasi Civil Court today as well, which we'll go into detail in just a bit. Anisha, I would like to thank you for joining us with those details. We'll, of course, keep coming back to you through the day for all of the updates. Let me also sum up for you exactly what's happened as far as the Supreme Court hearing is concerned. What were the arguments by both sides, the Hindu side as well as the Muslim side in the Gyanwapi Mosque case? You had the Hindu side claiming that there's an attempt to change the character of the shivling within the Gyanwapi Mosque. Now, the Muslim side has responded, saying that what's been seen in the Vazuhana isn't a shivling, it's actually a fountain. So all of this is being misrepresented. Besides that, the other argument by the Hindi, uh, by the Hindu side is that cement and debris has been found under the foundation, which is why they're saying there's an attempt to change the character of the shivling. The Muslim side has responded that this is clearly an attempt to create uh, uh, communal uh, disharmony, to disturb the harmony that's present, and they're saying let the Gyanwapi Mosque remain as it is. These have been essentially the arguments that have been put forth in the Supreme Court. Today we'll get clarity on exactly what the court has to say because the Muslim side is saying, put a stay, do not allow the survey report to be taken up and for any sort of changes to be made to the Gyanwapi Mosque. Let's take you through the other big legal battle that's expected today. We've summed up for you all that's happened in the Supreme Court and what's expected today. Another crucial update that you need to know about is that today the Varanasi Civil Court is also taking up this matter. And the survey report, the three-day survey that was conducted, a report on that is going to be submitted today in court. Three petitions in all related to the Gyanwapi Mosque Rao will be coming up in the Varanasi court today. Uh, the petition one 
essentially seeks permission to offer prayers at this alleged shivling that's been found on the premises in the Vazukhana. Now, the petition, uh, too, has demanded shifting pipelines through which water is being supplied for namazis to perform Vazu, where the alleged shivling has been found. The third petition that's been filed, which will be heard today, the Hindu side has asked that Ajay Kumar Mishra be included in the survey work. Who's Ajay Kumar Mishra? He's one of the court commissioners who was actually removed by the Varanasi court for allegedly leaking information about this entire survey to the media. Now, I'm sure all of you are wondering exactly what this Gyanbapi mosque complex looks like. It's adjacent to the Kashi Vishwanath temple. And Gaurav Savant now gets you this explainer, an immersive report using 3D technology of exactly what the Gyanbapi mosque looks like and where the alleged shivling has been found. The Kashi Vishwanath temple complex and the Gyanbapi mosque. Now, this area is in the headlines but i want to explain this area to you a little in detail why is this so important and why is nandi the ride of uh, bhagwan shiv actually facing the gyanwapi mosque and not the temple that was rebuilt or built uh, uh, afresh by ahilya by holkar after it was demolished on the instructions of emperor aurangzeb now Nandi, it is believed, always faces Lord Shiv. And Nandi, as you can see here, is facing the Gyanwapi Mosque. When you look at the temple, well, well, the thing is, the Hindus believe that the Gyanwapi Mosque is where the temple or the original Shivling, one of the Jyotirlings, originally was. Gyanwapi or Gyan Ku, the well of knowledge. Let's explain this location and the lay of the land to you. So the belief is Nandi always faces Lord Shiv. And when you look at the Kashi Vishwanath temple complex, Nandi is actually facing the Gyanwapi mosque and not the temple that was constructed by Ahilya by Holkar. Now, for Nandi, it has been a very long wait. A wait of more than 352 years, 4 months and 15 days and counting. But this is just a process that has started. Now it is also believed that you whisper a prayer in the ear of Nandi and it reaches Lord Shiv. That is the belief. Hindus have believed that for centuries. In this case, Nandi very patiently is looking towards the Gyanwapi Mosque. The Hindu side says they found Lord Shiv. What happens next is now will be a matter of investigation in courts. The five women petitioners wanted unhindered access to pray at the Sringar Gauri Sthal and wanted videography to prove that there was a temple where the mosque now stands. And now we will show you on the last day of videography or the court or mandated survey, what was found. So the videography that was ordered, it happened for three days and there were absolutely no problems in the videography. Every side cooperated is the information that we have and the Hindu side is claiming that at the Vazu Khana, that is where the shivling was found. Of course, this has been contested by the Muslim side that insists that it was a fountain that was already always there and already there. The ball now is in court for courts to decide what will happen next. Will the women devotees get unhindered access to pray? And will it be expanded further or not? We'll tell you more about that.